fan of murder mysteries, I can often be seen laying under a blanket, reading a locked room mystery book, or watching similar on TV or in film, so naturally I had to check out the sequel to Knives Out entitled Glass Onion. Once again, starring Daniel Craig as the brilliant detective, Benoit Blanc, alongside yet another assortment of really colorful characters and a seemingly impossible to crack murder mystery. But how does it compare to its predecessor? Let's get cracking. Benoit Blanc and a number of individuals are invited to a private island to play a murder mystery game that turns out to be a little bit truer than previously thought when one of the game players actually dies and foul play is suspected. So Benoit Blanc is once again tasked with deducing the riddles and mysteries found around the island to find the true culprit behind the murder before he or she can attack again. I found this film to be really, really fun. I would say that it's not really in the same ballpark as the first film, which I found to be really, really well paced. And the mystery in Knives Out was probably written better all around, while this was just, it was just silly fun. The mystery is pretty great as it digs pretty deeply into things that you notice subconsciously, you know, so stuff that you don't really think about in the moment, but then it'll come back into play later. But the structure of the story, I wouldn't consider to be amazing. The first half of the film deals with the murder mystery game thing and introducing characters, while the second half deals with the actual murder mystery. In Knives Out, it literally began with the murder, and the locked room mystery began. This took a while to get to the point, and even when it got to the point, Daniel Craig's Benoit Blanc, this brilliant detective, didn't actually do a majority of the deducing. He did the denouement thing at the end, and he did a fantastic job with it, but the actual detective work isn't really done by him. I don't want to tell you too much there, because it'll just end up spoiling something, but at the end of the day, we are here to watch him do his craft, aren't we? I mean, if he's not doing all of it, then his character is ultimately watered down. Also, I would argue that the first film's casting felt remarkable in the sense that even though it was an ensemble situation, the actors in the movie felt born to play all of their respective colorful roles. While this film, it felt like a majority of the ensemble cast was mm, mostly playing themselves, so it didn't feel like they were born to play these colorful characters as much as it was, let's just cast these people to basically just play themselves. That being said, they still did a pretty good job overall. No, this film was, at least to me, mostly just a comedy. So many things happened in the movie that just made me chuckle to downright burst out laughing because of how absurd it typically got, which is not really something that I remember experiencing with Knives Out. The hourly dong thing is just so stupid and hilarious at the same time. When uh, Dave Bautista's character is introduced, his elderly mother in the movie just cracks the code before he does, and it's just, it's hilarious. I kind of wish that she played a major part throughout the movie, but unfortunately she doesn't, just in the beginning. Benoit, spending time in the bathtub playing video games with the late great Angela Lansbury, among other people, I don't know, almost consistently, this film is filled to the brim with moments that just had me laughing, to the point where I guess I wasn't as invested in the mystery as I was with the humor. As weird as that sounds. Overall, if I absolutely had to compare the two films, I think that the first is more memorable, it's better written, it's better casted, and better paced. But also between the two, this is probably the funner of the two, if, if funner was actually a word, which I don't think it is. More fun? I don't know. It's still a very watchable and still a pretty darn well-made film all around and one of the better experiences with movies that I've had all year So I mean with that being said, let's take a look at my final score for a second Which I rated Glass Onion a Knives Out mystery an A minus letter grade final overall score of 88% 88 out of 100 possible stars in comparison to the first I did rate that movie 94% so I mean yeah the first is definitely better but again 88% still worthy it's a film that's still a lot of fun to watch and try to figure out everything along with Benoit. But what do you guys think about it? Have you seen the latest Knives Out Mystery now streaming on Netflix? If you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Do you think that it's better or do you think that it's worse than the first film? Did you figure out who done it? Let me know. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out.